Today in our 2017 Ford Edge, you're going to be taking a look at, and I'm going to show you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with 4-pole flat trailer connector, part number 118669. That's what our wiring looks like when it's installed. It's going to give you all the proper lighting functions you need for towing your trailer so you can get down the road safely. It's going to give you your turn signals, uh, your brake lights, your ground, and your running lights. You have a nice attached dust cap going to help keep uh, any dirt and debris and moisture from getting on your connections and corroding over time. And this wiring harness is going to have a power wire that's going to run up to the battery. So it's going to be drawing power from that instead of uh, drawing power from the vehicle's tail lights. How that helps is you're going to have 4.2 amps per circuit for your stop and turn uh, signal and then you're going to have 7.5 amps for your tail lights. If you have a few extra lights on your trailer, having that power wire running up to your battery, it's going to maintain the brightness of the lights on your vehicle and the trailer because it's not drawing any power from the vehicle. One nice thing about the attached dust cap is it can double as a holder when not in use to keep your wiring from dragging the ground. Now if you wanted a more permanent uh, setup, there's a couple brackets that you can purchase. One would mount to your hitch and the other is a four pole. Uh, bracket that mounts to the long bracket and then this will just slide into place. Now that we've gone over some of the features of the wiring, let me show you how to get it installed. This is what your wiring harness or what you're going to get in your kit uh, when you receive it. You're going to get your wiring harness. It's going to connect to your driver's side and passenger side tail lights. You're going to have your four pole connector. It's going to give you all of the proper functions uh, for your trailer. You're going to get uh, some stuff like this, you have your fuse holder, your fuse, couple heat shrink butt connectors, ring terminal, some double sided sticky tape. You're also going to get some uh, power wire that's going to be run up to your battery. Now what's good about this, or what's most important is this box right here. This is your converter box and this is what's going to protect your vehicle wiring from any back feed if there's a problem with your trailer wiring and vice versa. If there's a problem with the vehicle wiring, it's going to protect the wiring on the trailer. Another thing is the power wire that runs to the battery. It's not going to be drawing any power from your lights. It's going to be drawing it from the, from the uh, battery itself. So you're not going to have, if you have a trailer that has a few extra lights, you're not going to have any dimming of your uh, tail lights on your trailer and on your vehicle. All it's doing is getting the signal from your car or from your vehicle. The reason I want to go over this now is while I'm installing it, it might be kind of hard to see some of this. Now we'll go ahead and get started on the installation. So the first thing we're going to do, because we're going to be routing this behind our bumper fascia, and because our power wire coming off of our converter box is so short, it's going to be easier if you connect it now. So we'll go ahead and add one of our heat shrink butt connectors. And then we'll take our black wire that we're in our power wire that we're going to be running up to the front. And then we'll connect it on the other end. And then we're going to take a heat source and we'll go ahead and shrink that butt connector down. Now we need to remove our tail lights. You're going to have a little cap right here. Take a flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to pop that out. You're going to have a Torx bit screw inside. You take a quarter inch socket and a T20 uh, Torx bit. What you're going to find is if you use a socket, the Torx bit doesn't stay in. What I suggest, you take a little piece of paper towel, stick it over the end like that, and push it down in there. Now it stays in. And you're going to only have to do this if you don't have a magnetic uh, quarter inch socket that will hold that in place. We'll remove that Torx head screw. And then we're going to take our light and we want to pull back. Just like that. And then we'll have our wiring harness right here. Go ahead and push in on that little black tab right there. And pull up like that. Then we'll set our light aside to be reinstalled later. Next thing you want to do is repeat the same process for taking your tail light out on the passenger side of the vehicle. Now, we're going to have to run our wire up right behind our fascia. As you can see, it's kind of tight in here. 
we're not gonna be able to get it through that hole. So what we're gonna do is there's a fastener right here and right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out like this and that's gonna give us enough room to get our wiring up from down underneath. Now what we wanna do is you can either use some airline tube, wire hanger, you can take a nut, a bolt, even a closed in wrench, tie a string on the end of it to make it uh, weighted on one end. We're gonna pry this out a little bit and then we're gonna drop it down in there until it comes out of the box. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some electrical tape. I'm just gonna tape this to my string. And you wanna make sure you're using the yellow and brown side. That's gonna be the driver's side. We can go ahead and pull our wire up. Now what is getting stuck on down there is you have wires running to your sensors. So if, if you're having trouble pulling it up, just reach up there and just pull them out just a little bit and you'll be able to get it back behind them. Just like that, we'll take the tape off. And we're just gonna match our end, plug that in until it clicks, and then we'll plug that in into our tail light. And then we'll connect our tail light to our plug, push it until it clicks, and then we can reinstall our tail light. You can see that we're having a little bit of trouble with our wiring uh, where it's made the connection. So what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take it back off. And down inside, where this wire that originally, or your factory wiring is connected, there's a little white uh, fastener right there. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect that, or pull it off, and then push this whole wiring harness down inside there. We'll just pull out on it. The flathead screwdriver works, just like that. That's what our fastener looks like. Get our tail light plugged back in. Push your fascia back into place, then we can reinstall the tail light. Now we need to mount our converter box and our ground wire. You can see there's not a lot of room to work. It, we wanna stay away from the heat source, uh, the exhaust here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 730 take out these two screws right here. I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna take out this nut here and I'm gonna pull this panel out. Just give me a little extra room to work. So what we need is we want a flat surface. So I think I'm gonna put it right, right in this area. I'm gonna make sure that this area is clean. You can take some rubbing alcohol and a rag or paper towel. So just wanna make sure it's good and clean. Take your double-sided sticky tape here, press it into place, and stick it up there. Push it into place really good. Once we get that, then we'll mount our ground wire. Now you want to make sure our ground wire is on a metal surface. So I'm going to go right in front of the box here. Uh, and you can see what I did is a quarter inch socket with our self-tapping screw. Just like that. Then we can reinstall our panel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 730 seconds and I'm going to have six small bolts right across the back that are holding this section on that's uh, for the heat shield. So we'll lower that. What I'm gonna do is run my wire up and over because we wanna keep it away from the exhaust and I'm gonna route it through there. Now, if you have a wire hanger, you can feed it through there if you want. Otherwise, you're probably not gonna be able to get the wire to pull all the way through or push all the way through. So I'm gonna take it down, that way I can just tuck it in. So I'm gonna take both my four pole and my green wire I'll just pull out on my face like this. Go ahead and leave the four pole here. And we can reinstall our screws. And I'm gonna show you where I ran it here. So what I did is the only spot I could run it is right above my hitch, which again, ran us right behind the heat shield. Run across. And then we're gonna do the same process with pulling the wire up to the passenger side tail light. Now we can reinstall our panel underneath here. Next I'm gonna route my power wire up to the front of my vehicle. Let me get that done real quick and I'll show you how I did it. 
So you can see right here, I went behind this panel, over top of this cross brace. Right here, you wanna make sure you stay away from anything moving or hot. I went around this uh, bracket that's holding my fuel tank up. Just route it around, right to here. And then went underneath this panel, all the way up to the front. There is a zip tie on it right there. And zip tie on it right here. Now, I am using an airline tube here. A wire hanger will work just as well. I just don't have access to one here. Uh, what you want to do is, from your battery, find a clear area that comes down to the bottom side of the vehicle. So now we'll go up top, and I'll pull my tube, airline tube, with my uh, wire attached to it, and it'll pull it right up to my battery. One thing I do suggest is look down there one more time while you have your wire up. Double check to make sure you're not snagged on anything. So now we're going to be attaching this to our positive side of our battery. So I want to make sure my wire stays snug. I'm going to take a zip tie and zip tie this part of it right to my power wire or my positive battery cable there. And then we're going to cut it down to size. Let's strip that power wire back. Put on our butt connector. Crimp down. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our fuse holder, cut it in half, and we're going to strip both ends. We're going to put a ring terminal on one end, and then our other end is going to go into the other side of our butt connector. Then we can take our heat gun and we'll go ahead and shrink that butt connector up there. We'll take a 10 millimeter socket. Loosen this nut here, and then we'll attach the ring terminal to it. You want to make sure that you don't have the uh, fuse in place when you make this connection. We don't want any back feed to our wiring. Once we made the connection, we can go ahead and put in our fuse. Now we'll test out our wiring using part number I26. Left blinker, right blinker, brakes, running lights. And that'll do it for a look at an installation on the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118669 on our 2017 Ford Edge.